Nice! <laughs> Man, I'm fat. Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to do a mid Tlia guide. Well, guide. It's gameplay much more likely than a guide because today we're going to try to play with a hyper aggressive, dark harvest oriented. Uh, where is the item? Night Harvester oriented type of gameplay into the flex arena against the Gragas on mid with Ignite and Phase Rush against the Hecarim, which might camp me or not. And so we're gonna we're gonna play like this. Let's invade. Let's invade. I'm gonna talk about runes, I'm gonna talk about the build. Alright. <laughs> He has ghosts, he escaped, I can't believe this, we did a 3 man invade against P4 people and <laughs> I procced, I procced this, did I, did I, yep I procced this, <laughs> that's nice. Alright, so for the hyper aggressive night harvester build you're gonna need tier of the goddess because you will not have mana if you go for ring. Now, do not take my word for gospel on any of these videos ever, because I am trying builds and I'm showcasing you gameplay and what I think is best right now for Tlia is Landry or maybe Ludens in some contexts but I'd like to try these builds to see how they work so this is not a please try this build guide it will stomp people this is more likely a hey let's see how this item works against some platinum diamond level players because this is where I am at flex alright so let's do some auto attacks because he got close alright and we're gonna talk soon about the runes, I'm gonna step right into that barrel, but I need to farm properly, so that's why I'm focused on this. I haven't missed a single CS yet. Let's get all 12, let's get all 12, that's the first challenge of the day. Okay, three more, three more. Out attack, and this is going to proc here, Q, and let's get this one too. Excellent, oh my god, I'm so great. Yes, I'm gonna talk about runes in a second. Uh, obviously, I lost 13 minion because <laughs> I stopped. Uh, I stopped focusing. But yeah, I'm gonna throw a W here. Got him into this. Oh boy, he has ignite, and he can E flash me. So I have to be careful. I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna showcase the runes and build. I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Presence of Mind, Coop the Grace, and these rune stats. And I'm gonna play with uh, Night Harvester into Sork Shoes or Faster Sork Shoes into Zonia probably. And I expect to be ganked by Hecarim right now, so I have to be careful. That's why I'm keeping the distance like like this. And he's also using Qs, so it's fine. All right. Oh man, if I hit that, I actually think I can actually uh, I can kill the Hecarim right here. Hey, hey, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Hello, my friend. Where are you going? Okay, jump. Q. Excellent. Uh, why? Why did Kyle go there? Because I think this is missing. Well, we have another stack of Dark Harvest. That's fine. And we see Gragas losing a lot of uh, actual CS here. I'm gonna try to create a freeze, a small freeze. We got the Hecarim after he ganked us, and we got Pike is fed. Pike is very fed already. And for some reason. Somehow Volibear died to the Kyle, which is great, great for us, because Kyle shouldn't ever get kills early on. Let's farm perfectly, I'm gonna miss this, yep, got that, and Hecarim got the gank bot, that's fine. Gragas also did a gank onto the Kyle, but I think Mastery could have helped him, what are you doing? Man, if I hit that, it would have been amazing. As you can see, I am already a lot of CS ahead. And I will probably need to go for some magic resist. Because I won't be able to survive the level 6 burst that Gragas has. So, okay, I have a gang. I have a gang from Pike. 
Okay, I swear I'm not doing with him or anything. It's a good player, probably just. Alright. Hit the W. Miss the W. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> oh man, that happens when you miss the W. I'm bad. No worries. And. <laughs> Janna stealing that is actually insanely bad for them. Yeah, the face rush actually outplayed us both. So whenever you're facing a face rush champion, you gotta be careful to that, man. I troll that. But I still, I'm not behind still. I, Hecarim is ahead, but I'm not behind. I still have the CS advantage. And judging by this cannon, I also get a lot of CS. I think I'm also getting experience. Yeah. So I'm not really in a very bad spot. As you can see, I'm neither missing CS on that one. I guess, yeah. So you're just gonna you're just gonna throw some Qs here, get again the CS advantage, get some roams down, and you should be careful, buddy. I think she beats both of them, to be honest. This is a kill on both of them. Yeah, they are winning. Now somehow they managed to get the kill all right I am not dealing enough damage to kill him if I jump on him here yeah, he might flash on me so no I can heal up here and then I'll survive his full combo oh man minions I inted again. What are you doing, Drumat? Why are you inting so much, Drumat? Oh well, I'm just bad. Stop inting, Drumat. Okay, another gang. Oh boy, that was close. I like Pike though, I love him. <laughs> His roams are good. And let's get this. Uh, let's create, let's keep the CS gap actually. Let's work upon it. Because Gragas won't have any way to heal, just. He will have his uh, actual passive that heals him. His W, I think. I'm not remembering. But he won't be able to... He won't be able to actually sustain much onto this lane. Alright? So he will throw a Q probably for this. And I will try. If he comes close to so attack, I will try to actually get him. So, man. But at least we push him back. I will hit a combo on him, I swear. I I'm not bad, okay? <laughs> I'm not bad. <laughs> Please don't believe I'm bad. Uh... Okay, you can still go. Yeah. 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 Got them! <laughs> That was some awful. <laughs> that was real awful. And I do have presence of mind. That's why it worked. Because else, else I wouldn't, I wouldn't win this without presence of mind. And sending Gragas back actually further enhanced this fight. And it might seem bad, but I did. I will get ahead insanely well from this. Because this just further uh, enhances me in my getting Night Harvester faster, so can I hit the combo now? Nope. I'm gonna hit the combo one day on him, and that will feel amazing. Also, I really enjoy that passive map, and the blue buff, oh. So I'm just gonna do a Q here, heal up from the minion, I already have two stacks of Ravenous. Is he dying? No, he will actually outplay him. Or will he? Okay, he will not. Alright, we have a vision point in the air. He healed up pretty fast, but that's what Gregas does, to be honest. And he can actually kill me pretty easily with a full combo. Good, good, good. We give the gold to Master E. And he's scaling with Kyle. Yeah, I dopped. Based on our comp and our scalings, I doubt there is any chance to lose this. Why are you so ahead? And I need to back off. Alright.
right. Uh, help. 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 <laughs> I got the Night Harvester though, that was the target. Alright, and now with the tier, what we do with the tier? We're gonna go for Archangels, but I hate it. I hate to go for... Oh, why is this... I mean, he did the combo, it's fine. I'm gonna hate going for the Archangels because it's a, such a massive uh, build-breaking item. Because it's, it's the mana item, but it's just horrendous in terms of what it gives the shield what's what was making this item so great in the past so yeah if i were to guess hecarim will dive kyle on top because he's about here so hecarim is here that's my guessing okay no yeah exactly exactly it's there on the dive and if i follow this properly i might get even another kill Alright, corner yourself there. That's exactly what I wanted. So we got the free double kill. Man, I'm not pushing it. It's even, right? It's not pushed. It's in, right in the middle of it. And we had the gank on bots that worked amazing. But we did stop the Hecarim roams. And we are very, very much ahead now with the 8 stacks. Alright, so. I'm gonna do this. And I like the fact that with Perma Blue Buff, I will just like stack up tier so fast. And I enjoy the fact that he rarely gets close to me. He has no way of getting close to me without getting so poked. I'm gonna ping that this Drake is up. Also, I enjoy the extra health. This item might actually be good against Bursters, against, against Gragas. And there is E. <laughs> we should be winning this. Hello. 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 Okay, don't ignore that. Man, get him. I'm getting you. I have my ult. Have my ult. I don't want to use it yet. Okay, I want to use it now. Hello, man. <laughs> and there is a volley bear that comes on me that I think he wants my double buffs. But we're gonna welcome him here. We're gonna welcome him. Actually, go there. I think he took this. Oh. Just drag him, waste him, waste his time. I'm gonna still catch him. I'm gonna still catch him. Not gonna catch him. Okay. Never mind. Hey, hey Karim. And now you just killed Volibear by that gang. Why? Why did you do that? I don't know where Gragas is, but he can't really do much here. I made two Jesus. If you ever want to climb, like for real, out of low elo, and you think it's that it's not the elo you deserve, I actually tried this build. I actually play with Dark Harvest always. And I stole some CS from him. I don't mind it, though. I'm the one who's carrying this right now. Let's get this. Alright. Thank you. Man, you're gonna die. Yeah, I can't save you from that. Man, the damage is insane if you're ahead. And I have enough gold for Archangel, so infinite mana is on the table again. We could go for this tower. Oh boy. Hello, Gragas. No, you missed it. 20 seconds all cooldown. <laughs> Gragas is dead. <laughs> He's no longer dead. All 
right. Uh. Okay, I'm recalling. I'm out. I'm right on the word. I can flash if the car remotes or something. Okay, out. And let's go for Sorkshus as well. So this, two vision words, always. This is a pretty fun build if you are, let's say, making your placements and want to quickly... Ouch. That was painful. And yeah, enough mana. Already dealt 100 and 500, 1500 damage with this, which is a lot. Uh, okay, got it. Got the gold. Having a pike roaming is actually insanely useful. Okay. Man, I'm gonna die. Okay, your shields aren't working. Jana. Oh boy, max range. Why are they inting so much? And I think you will. Oh, you actually got the kill. This is fun! <laughs> this is fun! I'm gonna go top end, one versus one, this guy. Although, without Landry's, oh, he's AP, never mind. <laughs> I can cast ult like this, he has no time to actually get out. Okay. Okay. His burst is insane with that. Uh, after all, he didn't dodge my W with his ult, which he should have. And I cannot beat Hecarim if he comes here, so I have to recall. At this point, I just want to go for Landry's, for uh, Rabadon, sorry, because if I don't, I will not have the burst that I'm used to with Landry with the constant damage. Because these two items work great, but it's not only this AP that counts, it's the scalable AP from the Rabadons. Oh boy. Still don't like that. Basically, I feel you don't have damage with any item besides Landry's. That's how I generally feel if you don't go Rabadons. Now, I could go Zonia, but I don't think I have to. Because if they jump on me, Kyle can just hold me. So we also are the ones to engage every time. So I don't think we're in any danger, to be honest. And his damage is 400, my damage is 2000, by the way. And he's not behind that much, so to say. Okay. I'm gonna die, buddy. And we can't really catch him. Wait. Can we get the Janna here? Yeah, she's exactly here. Let's predict that. Oh, could have, could have definitely shot her there. Ah. Jesus. Holy damage. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. That Janna almost disappeared. And we also have an extremely scalable. <laughs> Kyle. Not here. I'm just gonna wait here. Hello, Hikari. Hello. Hello. And you should back off, man. Oh. Missed that. <laughs> she disappeared. Predict. On it, apparently, because he didn't eat. Okay, he's coming, coming, coming. Another one! Man, this item is insane in terms of scaling power. Raw power. 3k damage, 3000. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? This isn't even against silver. Oh boy, I'm about to die. Okay. 
I have no chance if I actually missed it. I did the small Q. That's my fault. Should have done the big Q. The big Q, guys. That's what... Oh, man, this is so hot. Alright, we're gonna have to go for Barons. And we can't sell anything, really. You're about to die. Or not. I thought Hecarim was gonna gank him, to be honest, because he's around here. Yep, yep. This is a free Baron for us. And I can get one of these, sure, again. And they are flaming. They are flaming. Okay. Alright, alright. Wait. Come on, guys. Let's stop uh, let's stop wasting time and this guy is trolling so hard in terms of baiting them and not not your not his team he plays well <laughs> well hello <laughs> got instantly kicked out of the game <laughs> And if Hecarim goes on mid, I'm gonna ult there. Yep. Yep, yep. I have to, because he would just engage onto the guy. I have to, I had to dare to. And Israel is hinting. If I didn't ult there, Hecarim would have definitely got the kill. Although he has flash. He has ult, so it was a hundred percent kill for Hecarim. I'm sure of it. Although I'm interested more in the fact that Kyle can't solve this. I'm just gonna wait here. Can you bait the Graga scene? Wait. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> oh, oh holy bear. And another one. And another one. Man, what is this game? Hecarim did play well. It's the Israel and Janice in the team. <laughs> and they are flaming him. Boy, this isn't good at all. She got him. Wait, wait, come, 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 come. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Man, I'm fat. Boy. It's a worthy sacrifice. How do I even. <laughs> I haven't even hit him. <laughs> Exploding! Okay. I'm trolling at this point. I mean, I'm not. I'm not even trying. It feels like that. But Jana, man. Jana got disappeared real quick. I like this item though, and I have 4,000. Oh no! Leave me alone! I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Alright, so that was the Night Harvester guide. I mean, in general, I make all my guides in this elo. I I swear this is not against bronze people. I've seen some diamonds in this in this uh, lobby, in this, well, lobby. Uh, how do you say it? Flex game OPGG? So yeah, that was Night Harvest into Archangel's build. It was pretty bloody nice. 21 kills. Mayhem with Dark Harvest. That's... I harvested a lot. I have I found the title though, Night Plus Dark Harvesting. That's amazing. That's an amazing title. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> so see you next time guys. I've definitely dealt the most damage into this by an insane marine. I dealt almost as much damage as the rest of my team and 
so my team combined is equal my damage and their team combined goes um, above my damage by only 5k or something i dealt 41k they all together dealt 50k in their team <laughs> something like that anyway that was the game guys i really hope you enjoyed it and see you next time and I, tell me what you think if you like this kind of build I want to try proto belt as well so if you like this kind of videos just write a comment down below and see you next time goodbye guys bye bye